My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a King of the Gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It is done. Delacere is dead. Grandmaster. Good. Monsieur Germain, the silversmith. Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. No time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine. Let's go. No. They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me, then. And stay quiet. No need to do anything foolish. Let the silversmith go. Stay back. Be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago, on a private contract. A man called a Frenier. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background, and what I discovered, you wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and Lafreniere found out about my schemes. He kept me under house arrest ever since. I. Do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, Lafreniere is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago, I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Alouble. It sounded ominous for every man to. I may ask, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Lavoie already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Delacer brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. If you have orders to remove us from this hall, you must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Palindrome 
Tumbo. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Breathe. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. Remember what I taught you, Marie? We oui, remember. Francois Thomas Schemmer, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Fool. The man speaks to me. No, it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur de Pelletier. Of course, Grandmaster. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. King must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The King will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge? No, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Innocent, messieurs, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'inculpe. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Kings, merely a symbol. Symbol can inspire fear, and fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown and church are ground to dust. Who you control the gold will decide the future. Chapter one. Is it vengé? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What's and go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die! Is that... This is Shit! Fired? But why? 
Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. His parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Grand Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Now, Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. What the hell was that? So the prodigal assassin returns. I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tax revenues. The darkness cannot protect you. You've become quite the thorn in my side. So come, kill me if you can. Unless you can miracle up a new king and halt the revolution in its tracks, it does not matter. Must we continue this pointless charade? <laughs> <laughs> Free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise!
Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her.